All right, welcome everybody. Thanks for coming to our Send Out Cards presentation, where you're gonna to learn to attract your most profitable customers, turn them into raving fans, and have them knocking down your door with referrals. That sounds awesome. I'm, Estel. I'm a relationship marketing strategist. I'm also an author, a public speaker, and I like to sing. Um, and I created the trust kindness movement where we trust that kindness will bring itself back around to us when we spread it to others. Cool. Um, send out cards is a relationship marketing follow up referral generating system for businesses and companies. And we're going to share that with you tonight and see how it can benefit you. So I'm going to tell you a story. This is my send out card story. <laughs> so I had been following my friend Sue Brooke on Facebook for a little while and was trying to, you know, come up with some way to connect with her at some point because she lived here locally close to me. And then all of a sudden she showed up as one of the guest speakers at a networking event that I was going to be attending. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I've been following her for months and now I get to actually meet her in person and hear her speak and everything. I was super excited. So she spoke and which is an amazing presentation that day. And um, we set a date for having coffee the following week. And so I went, I met her at a Starbucks local here and um, we sat down and she was just great. She, you know, she loved to hear about how I was doing my business and what kind of challenges I was having and everything. So we're sitting there, we're talking and I was just so excited because I had just started learning about relationship marketing and how to build relationships, you know, to expand my business. And she just knew how to do everything that I knew I wanted to learn. So I was so totally excited. Well, we're sitting there, we're talking about everything. I'm telling her about my challenges. And there's this little tiny girl that comes walking over and starts nosing through Sue's bag on the chair at the table, like little tiny, probably like a year old. And we just kind of looked over like, oh my goodness, like, <laughs> what is she doing? And then this mom comes over and she's like, oh no, honey, you can't do that. You know, well, we, we looked at the mom and she's got a smaller baby and she's wearing the baby on the front. She's got like one of those baby carriers and the baby is face forward. And she just has a grin like this big. She just was so beautiful. And Sue just gets up and her eyes lit up and everything. She goes, oh my goodness, your baby's so cute. Can I take a picture and send it to you? And the mom's like, sure, okay. So, and I'm just sitting here going, what's going on? So Sue takes a photo and then she, um, and she gets out her send out cards app on her phone and gets the card ready and everything and then gives the phone to the mom and the mom's filling out her own contact information, putting her mailing address in there so Sue can send her a card. Meanwhile, there's this other mom that I guess that mom was meeting with. She comes and she sits next to me and she's looking at our table and looking at all of these cool materials that Sue's got laying out and we've got the Power of Connect, Human Connection book out. She's like, what are you guys doing? And I said, well, I'm learning from her, you know, <laughs> like she's teaching me relationship marketing. And so they were, she was totally excited. She wanted to look at the book and everything. And, um, and so I was just completely like flabbergasted by what was going on. And so we got done talking to them and they went back to sit at their table and Sue looks at me and she was kind of like, I'm sorry for the interruption. And I just was blown away. I said, no, I said, I we, something better could not have happened. I think that was like my immersion experience into true relationship marketing and what it's like to, to be building a business by just being nice and kind to people. So that, <laughs> that's my send out card story. That's what, that's what hooked me. <laughs> and, um, so I tell you that story a little bit to just kind of give you a little bit inside story on me, but also I want to introduce my friend, Sue Brooke. She's an author, speaker, and um, a relationship marketing expert that I'm learning from. Um, she's just, she's a really wonderful lady and one of my favorite people that I've learned to know. So go right ahead, Sue, and tell them. <laughs> Thank you. I, well, I love that story too. And it's so funny because I forget about it sometimes that it just sort of happened. And uh, yeah, it was pretty magical. So, you know, I do that all the time. So who am I? And uh, thank you, Carrie, by the way, for the introduction in that great story. So yes, um, why are we here tonight? And why do 
I think I have something that I can share with you guys. So my claim to fame is, um, actually I've owned businesses ever since I was 20, gosh, 22 years old. My first business was a ballroom dance studio, believe it or not. I'm back in a little tiny town in Nebraska. And then later on, my real claim to fame was an educational learning center. It was a after school program and summer camp and tutoring business in a private school. And literally built this business by putting one ad in the paper. I started it out of my living room, actually. And I put one ad in the paper and got one client. <laughs> and from that one client, Everything that I'm going to teach you today and what Carrie's going to talk to you about today is really exactly what I did to grow my business. I just didn't happen to have this particular tool that we're going to share with you tonight, but it is the same exact concept. Go ahead, Carrie. I know you're pushing the screen button here. <laughs> so um, this is a great part of my story and, and another major reason why I just have to tell everybody. So about a year and a half ago, gosh, it'll be two years coming up. Um, got a message on Facebook from a lady and she said, I'm a cousin of your mother's. Well, my mother passed away when I was only eight years old. My younger sister was only five. And so I didn't remember my mother or anyone actually on that side of the family. And long story very short, she told me that her nephew, his DNA into ancestry.com and up popped a match. And the match happened, turned out to be a half sister and uh, it was a magical moment because I had there would be no reason on planet for me to put my DNA and I didn't think I would ever find I would have a sister and it was just so magical so anyway so the picture on the left is uh, Kathy the one on the far left that's our new sister uh, in the middle of course and then the blonder girl is the younger sister that I grew up with and that's a picture of our mother there on that one of that album that was the first day we met. We were actually in Women's World Magazine. It's a pretty cool story. You can ask me about the whole thing later. Um, the picture on the right is uh, the, also the first day we met, and we were dressed just like that, and we did not plan it. <laughs> we didn't plan the outfits or the shoes or anything. So it was a pretty amazing story. Um, so why am I telling you that story? Well, because I wanted to be closer to her and get to know her. Um, we're eight years apart. We didn't grow up together. So I actually moved. I packed up everything and I moved to Northern California from Southern California where I was living at the time. So I moved to a brand new community. I didn't know one single person. I barely knew my own new sister. <laughs> and she, we had a great time. And then she said, Sue, I have to go to work now. And so I had to figure out what I was going to do. I needed to start a new business. I wanted to meet business owners to teach them um, all the things that I learned about owning businesses. And what I'm going to share with you today is really, honestly, exactly what I did grow a tribe of raving, raving fans. So um, anyway, keep going. <laughs> it's all about relationships. It really is. Um, it's how I built my business in the beginning. And the bottom line is this. Most people hear the words relationship marketing. So the title of our, of our um, thing here today is relationship marketing. Well, most people put emphasis on marketing <laughs> when it really needs to be the other way around. So basically, you need to be spending... 80% of your time on building relationships in your business and only 20% on marketing. Okay. <laughs> and I love to crock, call it crock pot marketing. Why? Because let me just ask you guys a question. Which would you rather eat food out of? <laughs> would you re rather eat it out of a crock pot, a slow cooker, or a microwave? And uh, trust me, I lived on microwave food for a long time um, and it's pretty gross. It's much better to um, eat out of a crock pot. And it's the same with relationships. Relationships take time. You can't build a relationship um, in like a microwave. <laughs> so um, I'll let Carrie go ahead and take this take on from here. We're gonna talk about three things today. We're gonna talk about relationships, referrals, and retention. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna talk about building relationships. Obviously this is really relationship marketing. Um, and one of the things that you absolutely cannot build relationships without is being a nice person. So um, be a nice person, make it who you are. Um, you know, don't be one of those people who's got like an on and off switch and you're really nice when you're like in certain events and stuff like that. But then, 
you know, maybe, I don't know, have a bad day or whatever. And somebody comes and said hi and you're like total grump, whatever. <laughs> so just, you know, just be nice, you know, learn to, you know, if it's something you've got to work on for yourself or anything, I, you know, that's fine. Um, but just, you know, be a nice person, be somebody who is kind to others. Um, take a personal interest, take a personal interest in other people. You know, when you meet somebody at a networking event, you know, don't just go there to give them your elevator speech and hope that they're going to call you on the phone the next day, you know, ask them questions, ask them what they like to do for fun, ask them what their challenges are in their business. Um, you know, find out, find out about their family and their, you know, their kids, if they've got kids, you know, or their pets, if they've got pets, you know, find out a little bit about them, find out who they are. So networking. So I love that you, you said that Carrie, because we actually had the, a long conversation about what you just talked about earlier today. And we were talking about situations with people and, and what to do when we're out networking. It's, it's interesting that we, we were really on this topic today. Um, so when you're out networking, and I'm sure every one of you, if I could see your faces right now, and I asked you the question to raise your hand, if you go to networking events, I'm pretty positive if you're in business or you're an entrepreneur, you're out there networking. And so I'm sure this picture pretty much depicts exactly what it looks like when you're out at a networking event, like, or a timber mixer of something. Everyone's always passing out business cards, right? always pass out business cards it's almost like a game people go out there and they try to collect as many business cards as they can and um you know that's all well and good but guess what you have to do you gotta follow up so go ahead and keep going <laughs> now i love this right here and um Barry and i talk about this a lot so when you're out there networking you're always you're gonna meet a contact going to be someone that you talk to okay like carrie said you're going to talk to someone you're going to meet them you're going to find out about them and they're going to fall into one of two they're one of one of two categories and um so i like to say that a lot of people are trying out there and i watch this you know i moved to a new community i went to tons and tons of networking events and and things like that and what i saw was people out there trying to sell their stuff to everybody there okay and i'm sure if i ask you guys to tell me if you go to networking events to sell something a lot of people are going to say well yeah i want to go i want to sell something i want to find customers but are you going there to buy something no so the market for prospects is really small okay so I don't really necessarily like to go to networking events and try to sell people things and try to find new customers because that's a very small picket bucket. most people I, no I'm not gonna say that there are people that do not need or want what you're selling I love the other side of the of the equation there the referral bucket Okay, if you do what Carrie says and you're a nice person, you need to take a personal interest in them and you get to know them on a personal level and actually build a relationship with them. I don't know what the statistics are, but every person knows a lot of other people. So they will refer people. Even if they don't want to buy your stuff, they might tell all of their friends and family. So that can turn into way more customers. And the fortune is in what, Carrie? The follow-up. <laughs> that's right. So, you know, that's a big one. Make sure that, you know, everybody you meet, make sure you follow up. Well, how do we follow up? Um, and why do we follow up? People do business with people they know, like, and trust if they remember you. So um, you want to follow up with people because that continues building the relationship, especially with new contacts. Um, but you also want to follow up in a way that's, that's just, it's not spammy. It's not salesy. It's going to be something that's actually building the relationship. So you want to have a follow-up system that um, shows that you're still taking a personal interest in the person. Eighty percent. Oh, I'm totally. I've totally. Um, so here's a statistic for you: eighty percent of sales are made on the fifth to twelfth contact. So that's just that's just something that just really backs up the the idea that building relationships is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, way to build a customer base. And because you're 
you know, you're not going to make a sale the first time you talk to somebody. It's just, you know, normally not going to happen. So you want to have, build a relationship where you're going to be um, communicating with people on a regular basis. You know, you want to get to that fifth to 12th contact with the person. And that's going to take using a follow-up system. You want to stay top of mind with people, even if they are not your best customer, or maybe they're not looking for a product that you sell. If you're staying top of mind, then that's where the referrals come in because they will remember you and they'll know, like, and trust you because you've taken a personal interest and they're going to refer others to you that will be good customers for your product. Absolutely. Do you want to take this one, Sue? <laughs> no, go ahead. Keep going. You're doing okay. great. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, so this is one of my favorite aspects of um, the send out cards follow-up system. Um, it bridges the gap between high tech and personal touch. So, um, you know, we're talking about email statistics here. You can see that only about 11% of emails are opened and only 2% of emails are actually read. So sometimes emails will get marked red, but they're actually not read. They're just marked that way. Um, so one of the things about, um, you know, we talk about high tech and some people, you know, they look at it like, well, high tech is kind of like it's, it, it puts distance between people because we're not, you know, having those up close and personal face to face conversations. Um, so, um, you know, so now it's it's one of those things where it's like, well, how do you build a relationship using high tech, though? Because that's what everybody's using. And, um, you know, email was something that when it came out, it was great. Um, but now, you know, a lot of people, they've got a lot of emails in their inbox and they're not necessarily getting read because it's kind of, it's almost a little bit like overkill. <laughs> so, you know, we need a way that's gonna use the high tech, um, but still have a personal tangible touch. <laughs> I and I love this cartoon. Um, you know, it used to be 15 years ago, it was like, you know, you had that, Dee, 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 you've got mail, you know, and everybody's super excited because it was this new shiny, you know, shiny little toy that everybody had and was like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing ever. You know, but today, you know, you've got your, <laughs> you've got your inbox totally inundated with extra emails that you haven't even got to yet. And, you know, you get something in the, in the mail that's not a bill or not junk mail. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's a letter from somebody who like, who I like or who likes me, you know, and it has nothing to do with, paying bills or doing business or anything. So about 3% of the mail we receive in our mailboxes at home is personal. And that there, that's what makes this such a huge impact is when we send a card to somebody, we're sending them personal mail. So we're going to stand out, you know, I don't know if you do this, but at my house, we do this sometimes, you know, we'll go and we'll get the mail. And then it's like a stack that just kind of sits on the counter for a little while. But, and then when it's finally time to go through it, like I'll go through it and everything. And if I see a card in there or something that looks like a personal letter or anything, like everything else gets dropped on the floor or on the couch next to me or whatever. And I'm opening that thing right now. Everything else can wait, but I want to see what's in there. Um, so, and you can see greeting cards have a hundred percent open rate. Um, you know, who doesn't want to open a greeting card when they see something like that in the mail? It's, it just brightens your day. The tangible thank you card generates more referral business than any other form of communication. So, and that just goes back to staying top of mind. Um, you know, we, we're doing something that has the effect of a personal touch, a personal tangible touch. We're brightening somebody's day. And that's how they remember us. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, I got this letter in the mail and it was just so nice that that person even thought of me. And then, you know, the next time they're having a conversation with a colleague or a friend or a family member, and maybe something comes up, you know, about the industry that you're in or whatever, and they're going to remember you. They're going to be like, you know what? I know somebody who does that. Let me see if I can find their phone number. Oh, wait, I've got it on this card right over here. Here it is. And you've got a referral right there because you were nice to somebody and it kept you top of mind basically just by default. So we want to thank people through the process. And this is just huge, um, especially like we were talking about networking, going to networking events. Um, you know, call the person later, invite them to coffee. And, you know, it doesn't matter if they don't do business with you this time. Um, you know, send them a thank you note. Send them, you know, they took time out of their day 
to come and meet with you and to invest in building a relationship with you. And, um, you know, just, just thank them for doing that. You know, their time is valuable just like yours is and they carved some time out for you. So thank them for that. Um, you know, if they send a referral your way, send them a thank you note for a referral. I actually did that today. Um, I got called by a friend of mine. She thought of me. Um, she thinks that I can really help a couple of chiropractors build their business and I sent her a card right when we got off the phone. I was like, oh my goodness, she hasn't even given me their phone number yet. I just thought, you know, I'm so grateful that she even thought of me and I can't wait for her to get that card in the mail and just be like, oh my goodness, you know, because it, it just, it just really, it was uplifting to me that she even thought of me at all. And I just wanted to make sure that I said, thank you. And, um, you know, I don't know where that relationship is going to go with the, with the other people, but, um, but I want to maintain my relationship with my friends. So they make sure you're thanking people through the process, even for the little things. Absolutely. So here's a few examples of people who are highly successful um, by, and one of their biggest aspects for making them successful is, um, is thanking people through the process and using greeting cards to do it. Um, How to Sell Anything to Anybody is a book written by Joe Girard. He is in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most cars sold, I think, in a year and during his career, right? Yeah. I think so. And um, one of his biggest secrets, if not the biggest secret, was he sent every single contact 13 cards a year. Now, notice it says contact. He didn't just send these cards to his customers. He sent them to everybody that he knew. So that way, even if somebody wasn't his customer, maybe they never, you know, maybe they never wanted the kind of cars that he sold. I don't know. But he was top of mind with them. And so if their friends or family members were looking to buy a car, they said, oh, you know what? You got to go see this guy. He's great. All right. Mary Kay, her key to success, she taught all of her sales reps to send three handwritten thank you notes every night before bed. It was just a daily practice. Tom Hopkins, he wrote How to Master the Art of Selling. Within five years, he went from making less than $50 a month in real estate to building an annual sales volume of over 14 million. His secret weapon, 10 handwritten thank you cards every single day. So 99% of his business by referral was within three, well, within three years, 99% of his business was by referral only. I would, I would love to have a business like that that. <laughs> that sounds amazing to me. <laughs> so it's all about relationships. So did you want to take over? No, keep going. You're doing okay. great. Okay. Oh, Very perfect. You. All right. So it's all about relationships. Um, we want to build long-term relationships rather than encouraging just a one-time sale. And that leads us to our customer lifetime value. I know Sue's got a story about that with her I do. I would love to take over on this one. So yes, if you, I mean, I, I work with a lot of clients and um, I know for a fact that if you have a business, you need to understand what CLV is and it's customer lifetime value. So what does that mean? Um, I'll just give you an example. This will give you the best example. So when I owned my, I had an educational learning center, like I told you a private school and all that kind of stuff. So I knew when a, um, First kindergartner, a first grader came in, like if the parent brought a kindergartner, first grader in for a tour of the center, um, I was so excited, okay, because not only, well, maybe they would, if they signed up, it might be $500 a month for the, for the tuition. So let's say it was $500 a month. Well, what, what a lot of business owners do is they go, oh, if I sell this, this new customer, it's going to be $500, but in that because I wanted that, that first grader to stay all year. I wanted them to stay every month for a year. So then I knew I did the math in my head. Okay, five hundred dollars times twelve is six thousand dollars. Great. But I didn't only want them to stay for a year. I was going to take such good care of that, that child and that family. I wanted that kid to stay with me till he went to college. <laughs> so do the math with that. Like if it was another ten years. You know, there's, you know, a lot of money, six, $60,000. Here's the thing. When I started my tutoring business out of my living room and I got 
that ad in the paper and I got that one client, I was a first grade little boy. And I took such good care of that family. I sent them birthday cards and thank you cards. I did, it, and it wasn't just that. I just loved on them so much. They told all of their neighbors, okay? Then from there, they told the teacher. The teacher started seeing what was happening. I took, I made sure I met the teacher. And it just expanded and kept going and going and going. I'm telling you, that first client that I got that told so many people who told people who told people, that client had to have been worth at least a million dollars to me. So I, I'm spending more time on this slide here because it's so important. Appreciated customers will become your raving fans. I really love that raving fan saying, while increasing your referral, referral business dramatically. So take care of your clients. So here's some alarming statistics. Okay, these are good things to really know. The number one reason a customer does not come back to you Let's say that little first grader left and then we didn't take care of him. I, you know, if that happens in business, right? Number one reason is because they forgot about you. If you didn't stay top of mind and take care of them, right? And I know for this for a fact, at least I have a good story with this one too, is customers will not leave you because of price. A lot of people go, oh, they left because they said I was too expensive. They are not, people do not leave because of price. If they say that, they're lying because here's the bottom line. 85% of clients are lost because they don't feel appreciated. And in my, again, another story, I just have so many stories about my businesses. Um, when I first started my business out of my living room, it was after I worked for a very expensive high, you know, I think it was a, like a, the most successful, most profitable um, tutoring franchise in the world. And they were not, not cheap. Okay. And because I had to turn a lot of people away from there it was a big corporation. I had, I wanted to be the cheapest tutoring business in the town. Okay. So it was fine when I worked out of my house, but when I started growing my business and opened a brick, brick and mortar business, and if you're watching this and you have one of those, you know that it's not cheap have a business so I had to raise my prices or I was gonna have to close my doors and so I literally had I mean I was scared to death right I was really scared oh my gosh my clients are gonna leave you know I know they can't afford it and you know I was that was the mind the monkey clock in my brain but here's what happened so I raised my prices just a little bit <laughs> and nobody left and they kept referring people and I raised them a little bit more and nobody left. And I just did that a few more times until, I'm not joking, I, my business was the most highest priced after school program, summer camp. It was the highest price in the town, anywhere nearby. And guess what? Nobody left because we took care of them because one of our, our main systems was this. When a new client came in the door and we gave them a tour, before they even drove out of the parking lot. We had a stack of thank you cards that we hand wrote messages and wrote all their stuff on the envelope and we put a stamp on it and, and all of that. And it was in the basket to go to the post office the next day. So 85% of clients are lost because they don't feel appreciated. The love on your clients. And then this one, don't forget this. People, and I, I've seen this so many times, People spend more money trying to get new customers instead of just appreciating the ones they already have. It's cheap. For, it's actually free <laughs> to love on your customers and appreciate them so they tell people. Okay, it's way cheaper and, uh, than trying to go and spend a bunch of money and time on trying to get new ones. I know I spent a lot of time on this, but this is really important. <laughs> oh, and I just have to tell you the story. <laughs> um, I love new Beetles. I know it might be kind of crazy to see all these cars up there. I've owned seven of them, um, and I have a story behind all of them. I won't get into the story today, but here's what I want you to think about. Now, I'm going to tell you this, and then I really want you to let it soak in, okay? Um, I bought seven new Beetles. Okay, one of them saved my life, actually. I was in a really bad car accident, and that number two was hit by a Ford F2. 250 truck in the driver's side door and I it saved my life so I love these cars here's the thing every all seven of those cars I bought from a different salesperson and a different dealership a different dealership and salesperson 
pink part, the pink one is the one I still have right now. I've had for about two years. I couldn't tell you the next week after I bought the car who sold it to me. I have no idea. Nobody kept in touch with me. So think about that. If the person that sold me that first new Beetle would have stayed in touch with me, oh my gosh, he could have sold a lot of cars. <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead, Carrie, you can tell this story. Um, so this one is really interesting. Um, this is a, he was a, he was a realtor. Yeah. In Arizona. So he was terrible at following up. He didn't keep in communication with his, um, with his past customers and didn't really have a good system for it. So then he was introduced to, I think it was send out cards, right? It was, he was mm -hmm. introduced to send out cards. So he, he got all of his new clients and his, his potential customers into the system, but he never loaded his existing clients, not at first anyway. So then um, a little bit later, he started going through his old files and got his old customers, um, his, well, his existing clients into the system and started sending them, he sent them all like holiday cards. And what happened was he started getting cards back as undeliverable. So he started looking up all of these addresses in the MLS and found out that they had sold their homes again, but they had not called him to facilitate the sale. They had called, they had used another realtor. So he ended up, it added up to almost $75,000 in potential commissions that he lost just from not keeping in touch with his existing customers. Stories. Oh, right. Yeah. There's a, <laughs> there's yeah. a visual right there. So that's what he did. So all of the letters that started coming back, he would look up the address on the MLS and he would find out what the houses were sold for and what his commission would have been on that sale. And so that's how he added up how much he, he nearly lost. He, he learned his lesson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hard way. So the, the moral to the story is <laughs> you want to set yourself apart by reaching out in kindness and purely with the intent to stay in touch. That's probably one of the biggest takeaways um, that, that you could have from this presentation is um, you want your intent just to be staying in touch. It needs to not be making another sale. It needs to not be asking for referrals. It needs to not have no ulterior motives at all but just to stay in touch with a person and take a personal interest in them. Absolutely. Don't ask for referrals, deserve them, right? Absolutely. So going on with that, um, my favorite story is this. Um, let me see if I can fix this for a second. If you're, um, I just need to, Sorry, we've got somebody talking. If you can mute yourself, that would be awesome. I'm just trying to figure out if I can uh, find the person to mute them. Uh, anyway, shoot, I'll keep going. So, all right, so my story is this. Um, I was in a networking event, and what I'm gonna share, what we're gonna show you in a minute is I'm gonna show you exactly what I do um, and how I became uh, known. Everywhere I go, people know me, and almost every single person that I meet has something that I've sent them on their desk. And this is my story. This is my most favorite story of that. Um, I was at a, at a chamber mixer and there was a man that I met and I took a picture of us. I always take a selfie of us and, and I always say, what are you doing? I said, oh, never mind. I'm, I'll show you in a minute. And uh, I took a picture of the selfie of us and I put it on the front of a greeting card and I used the app on my phone, which I'm gonna show you how I did that in a second. And I sent him a little note that said it was really nice meeting you, the chamber mixer. And uh, I'd love to meet for coffee and find out more about what you do. And I sent the call to him. Uh, as soon as he got that, um, as soon as he got that, uh, sorry, but I'm trying to, to, to stop that. Um, as soon as he got that card, he called me right away. And he goes, oh my gosh, Sue, he goes, that was so nice. What, what a cool thing you did. I would love to talk to you. And I want to find out more about what you do too. So. Um, I went to his office, we talked, um, and I, he, he said, wow, I want to keep learning more about this, and I would love to meet again. And I said, well, um, tomorrow I'm leaving to go back to Nebraska. My father has dementia, 
and um, we, my sister and I have to, my younger sister and I have to move him into an assisted living. And uh, it was, I knew I had to leave early in the morning. And so I said, I don't know when I'm going to be back. And he took a really big interest in that. He, he had experience with having to move his mother in with dentists. So long, long story short, I, I left for my trip. Um, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my whole entire life. Uh, and I came back home and this card, this was an actual card. He, um, it was in my mailbox and it, that picture there is my most favorite picture. Me and my dad, it's one of the, it was the actual last time that my dad and I went out um, before we had to move him. And he sent me this nice thing and it was this, thank you, you know, welcome home. Thank you so much for our time together. I've been keeping you and your dad in my prayers. It's a tough time of transition for both of you and looking forward to working together. And I'm just going to ask you guys right now, um, who do you think I'm going to send all of my referrals to? <laughs> um, I, I mean, he's amazing. He didn't try to sell me anything. He's a financial advisor and uh, he I've actually, he's, really built a relationship with me and uh it was he actually took just, i think the relationship started with when i realized that i don't know where he found this picture it was on my facebook i he actually had to search for it so um you can click the next one uh so i've learned that people will forget what you said they will forget what you did they'll never forget how you made them feel um if you have ever read when wayne dyer's book uh, I'm all, I'm just I read it again just recently, and the bottom line is in the book. The my favorite part is that when you send out kindness to someone, you get this shot of serotonin. It's like this feel good drug, right? And it happens for the person sending out something, the, the kindness, and it's the person giving the kindness. But really, what blew my mind in this book was that people observing that or even hearing about it have the same feeling. So I've told that story about the card many times and people have come up to me and told me that it brought a tear to them, their eye or that they really felt something. So it's the kindest thing like Carrie said in the beginning is so huge. Yeah, definitely. And obviously what you send out in life comes back to you, right? So, um, and it happens every time. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I did and I'll, we can come back to the screen later. You can go ahead and stop the share because I'm going to share my screen on my phone. If I can get it to work here. Uh, let me see if I'm even still on. <laughs> okay. Hold on one second. Let's see if I can do this. I see your phone on there, so it should be fine. Yeah. I just want to, um, Yes, we got some, ah, there we go. I'm going to mute this person. So, um, okay. So, um, I'm going to use, take my phone and I'm going to go ahead and share the screen on my phone if I can get there. Um, so basically like I was saying at the beginning, when I moved to this new community, you know, I was brand new. I didn't know anyone. I had to meet as many people as I can, but, and I knew I had to build relationships with them. So what I did is I go to networking events. I just would get my butt up early in the morning and I would just go to every single one that I could possibly find. I went to meetups. I met to do chamber mixers. I met to women's groups, whatever I could find. And this is what I did. So now I'm going to share my screen on my phone because I use my phone. Basically. Uh, okay. So here we go. Here is uh, the front of my phone. So basically what I did is I would take a picture, uh, usually a selfie picture of someone. And over here, if in the down in the bottom right, it shows a send out cards app. So I click the app on the phone and um, up will pop. Uh, there we go. This is what the app looks like. So what I did is now there's a lot of cards I could send. I could send thank you cards and nice to meet you cards, all kinds of things that are pre-designed. But my favorite way to do it is this. So I click the top where it says photo cards, I click in there. And then I decide if I want a vertical or a horizontal card. And I believe I'm gonna make the card I wanna make right now is going to be a horizontal card that I have on my phone. I've already put it on my phone. And I'm gonna click create. So I'm gonna click in the middle here and I'm gonna get a photo off of my phone. Well, 
today I went to the beach with um, Carrie and another friend. We did some masterminding and I secretly took this picture of them <laughs> walking in the sand. So there you are, Carrie. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and send them a picture to, you know, to because, you know, put this memory here. Um, so let's see. So I put that, that's going to be the front of the greeting card. Now, remember, this is going to be an actual card that is going to be sent in the mail. So I'm going to swipe to the left and then I'm going to slide to the left one more time. This is the bottom part of the card. So if you can imagine a horizontal card, you flip it up. I'm going to put, I could put another picture in there too if I want, but I'm going to go ahead and just put a message. So I can choose a color here. Um, my favorite color they both know is purple. And so I'm going to go ahead and use the purple color, which I normally do. Um, there's a lot of different fonts I can choose from here. Um, da -da. Um, now, what's really cool about this is there's a lot of fonts or some that look like handwriting and all different kind of fonts, but they actually, I filled out a form and I they actually created a font that's actual my handwriting. So even though that the handwriting not as cool as some of the other ones, I'm going to go ahead and use my own handwriting font and I'm going to just go ahead and start typing a message. Um, move this thing out of the way. <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm going to send this to Carrie since she's right here. She's going to watch me send this card to her. <laughs> um, <laughs> and because I'm not the greatest typist in the world, I'm going to go ahead and text the message. I had such, oh, and guess what? I'm going to have technology. Oh, I know what it is. It's because it's, uh, it's a technology thing. So I guess I'm going to have to type it. I'm just going to get back out of there. Um, sorry about that. Um, great times, great times at the beach. Okay, so I, if I had time, I could just go ahead and write more things if I want to. Um, I could add some more pictures and that type of thing, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this in the interest of time. I can also put my signatures in there. So there's one of my, my actual signatures in there, and that's the inside of the card. The back of the card, this is pretty cool. You can actually brand the back of these cards any way you want, which is awesome. So this is my normal back. I have a lot of different backs, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave this one on here, and I'm going to click send. Now, because the system actually has an amazing um, relationship contact manager, I can have, I uploaded all my contacts in here. So Carrie is already in here. Now, just to let you know, when I would go to different, networking events, of course, I didn't have their contact information. I didn't have anybody <laughs> when I first moved here. So all I did was I would just ha I would click new contact and I would hand the phone to the person that I was meeting for the first time. And I'd say, hey, go ahead and put your contact information in here and make sure you put your mail and your mailing address. And the funny thing is, because of the way the world is, everybody goes, oh, you want my email address? It's just, you're going to send me an e-card? I'm like, nope, I want your <laughs> mailing address. It's hilarious. People are like, mailing? What do you mean? <laughs> No, it's like that mailbox. I know, I've had that happen to me too, yeah. Oh my God, it fucks me up. So anyway, whoops, I don't need new contact. I just messed up. I'm going to put, I'm um, select contact. And because like I said, Carrie is already in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click her. And um, there she is. I'm going to click continue. And as you can see, and I'll explain what, how it's free. I push submit. And there I just sent a card to Carrie. She's going to get that card in her box in a very short amount of time, just in a few days. So I'm going to stop my share right there. Um, <laughs> pretty darn cool, huh? So um, let me fix this thing. So um, hold on a second. We've got some things we've got to mute here. Okay, so that's how I sent the card in the mail. Um, it is so much fun. And Carrie, if you want to... Um, Say anything about that and then we can go back to the screen real quick for the presentation um yeah i just it's so easy to use and you know i just i love it and i love being able to just you know hand them the phone and then they you know that there's no typos on the address there's no you know you've got their phone number everything they just fill it out it's it's great it's awesome. phenomenal oh yeah We'll go ahead and share your screen again and we'll um, tell people how they can get started with this. So it's a blast. It's honestly, um, you know, 
Gary and I both, we have a blast with this and we have uh, teams of people that we are doing this over and over again and it's so much fun. And um, anyway, so Carrie's gonna go ahead and explain. Oh, let me tell you, let me talk about this for a second. Hi, Victoria, yeah. we'll talk to you shortly. <laughs> okay. I can see you there. Um, okay, so a lot of people say, well, okay, you're building relationships in person, right? Well, I build relationships online and what's hilarious is Victoria is on here right now. and um, I've never met Victoria in person, believe it or not. And uh, she has actually gotten a card for me or two, I think, in the mail. <laughs> and so one of the things that I do to build relationships on social media, which everybody's on there, right? Everybody's on some social media, and Facebook happens to be what I'm on most of the time. I'm just going to give you a little secret on how I've actually built relationships with people I don't know on Facebook. And I have about 5,000 friends on Facebook. So I don't know most of them. <laughs> most of them I don't know. So my secret is this. I posted, and, and this, I did this a few months ago. I posted on my Facebook page, post your favorite pet picture. And what was fun about that is I got some really cute pictures of dogs and cats and actually one tortoise. <laughs> and so um, all I did is I just right-clicked on the picture because, of course, everybody's sharing their favorite picture of their pet, right? And I downloaded the picture onto my phone or my computer, whichever I was using at the time, um, because I can use both. I put it on the front of the card, and then I'm, if I didn't have their, their mailing address, people ask me this all the time, how do you get people's mailing addresses? And what do we say, Carrie? We Just, ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> we ask them. They're like, well, really? Like, it's amazing. Okay, so anyway, so I would... Um, message people and I say, hey, what it, can I get your mailing address? I want to send you a surprise. So I did that, I sent the card to them. And the best story that I have is I went to Southern California and I was actually speaking at, um, I was doing a workshop and speaking there. And there was a girl that lived two hours away from there. And she had gotten a card from me with her cat picture on the front. And uh, she literally drove two hours just to hear me speak and now I work wow. with her um, it was a pretty amazing story because and I built a relationship with her we ended up going to lunch and now we're like friends <laughs> so pretty <laughs> fun very cool so, yeah so go ahead Carrie why don't you go so I'm gonna have Carrie go ahead and do this um, and tell you how this whole amazing system works it really is the most amazing relationship follow-up referral generating system you can find and it is so I'm just going to tell you this before she gets started when I had my tutoring business I told you that my main system of loving on my customers and appreciating them was I would go to the store usually like Target or whatever and I'd buy a box of thank you cards you know just boring plain, you know just thank you cards of course I tried to make them pretty but you know thank you cards. And so I'd buy a big box of thank you cards and then I had to drive them back because it, it took me forever to pick them out. Then I'd bring them back to the center and then um, they were in a box. And then when all this happened, all of you can probably imagine how much time it took to look up their at mailing addresses and hand write, you know, address it and then lick the stamps, which are gross anyway, and, then, <laughs> and write a note and then take it to the post office. Oh, and you got to buy a stamp. So it was like, ah! so when, I'm actually kind of mad because there were a couple people that knew about the send out cards and they used to always tell me, Oh, Sue, you need to do send out cards. And I was like, what is it? And they go, well, you can send the card from your phone. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. And not one person ever sat down and showed me the system. And when someone finally did, it was like, I could have saved so much time and lots and lots of money if I would have known about this. But I know about it now. So Carrie, go ahead and tell us. Um, share how we can, people can get started. All right. So we talked about thinking people through a process. We talked about tangible touch of having greeting cards in the mailbox and brightening people's day. So this is send out cards, appreciation you can touch. Um, there are three ways to send cards with send out cards. Now there are heartfelt card sends. Now those are cards uh, you know, that's a card I'm sending right now. Um, maybe I, well, kind of like Sue's example, you know, maybe I'm at a networking event 
And um, maybe I've talked to this person once or twice, you know, a couple of times before when I've met them there and we have this great conversation and it's like, you know, I'd really like to, you know, have coffee with them sometime, whatever. Um, so I'll take a selfie with them be like, Hey, you know, I want to remember what you look like, take a selfie, hand them my phone, they fill out their information. And then I send that card right now. It, um, you can choose immediate or you can choose a different date, whatever you choose the immediate and it's a completely unique card. It's got a picture of them with you on it. It's got um, a unique message on the inside and it's being sent right now. That's a heartfelt card sent. And then there are group card sends. This is something people a lot of times use for holidays. Um, like just, you know, we just had Mother's Day just this month and I sent like 135 Mother's Day cards. So I had, a, I had that many mothers in my contact list. <laughs> and what I did was I created a group called Mother's Day and all of the mothers on my contact list, I put them into that group. And then I was able to just send, I was able to create one card it had a neat little message for mothers. I put a little note in there, personal note, and then sent it to the entire group. So it was one card, you know, only five minutes of my time, but it went out to 135 mothers. So that's group cards sent. A lot of people use them for Christmas cards at the end of the year. And then you've got scheduled card sends. So these are something that um, you can do them onesies and twosies and just set a date. You know, maybe you want to um, schedule all your birthday cards for the year and like, you know, get them all lined up and everything and you can schedule the date that they're going to go out. Um, also, you can do campaigns where um, maybe you want a certain per type of person that you just met um, to receive a certain type of card with a certain message at certain intervals and you can actually set it up that way and have it scheduled. Um, all right. Oh, I kind of went through these. So, <laughs> so, um, so this is, this is a great example of a heartfelt card send. All right. Um, it's a thank you message. Hi, Karen. I really want to thank you again for reaching out and trusting me with the design project. Thoroughly enjoy working with you. Um, you know, da, 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 da. Um, put your name, put your phone number maybe on the inside. You've got your branding on the back of the card, of course, and it's got a photo right there. You can see the photo there on the top. And then you want to um, send it immediately. You can choose your font, just like um, Sue showed you and everything. Um, you can choose something from the catalog. And what are these? Oh, these are, okay, so you can also send gifts with any of the cards. And you can send them with the schedule cards. You can send them with the group sends. And you can send them with the heartfelt. Uh, sense. So um, you've got a, some choices of gift cards there along the bottom. You've got um, brownies and they have like some other like birthday brown birthday brownies and birthday bars, stuff like that. Um, and sometimes there's jewelry. I like, um, I sent one of my friends a little key that um, has the word prosperity written into it. She's a financial advisor. So I thought that would be really cool. So we've got some great gifts in there. Um, then you've got your group card sends. So these are, I was talking about like Mother's Day that I just sent all those cards out. Um, a lot of people, um, you can use them for the holiday cards, like we said. Also invitations. If you've got an event coming up or an announcement, you know, you can do invitations or even announcements like save the date cards for your wedding, um, invitations to an engagement party, anything like that. And then you've got your scheduled card sends. So you can see some of the examples here. Um, you can see the little timings on there so it's like you can tell it's a series of cards and then like one of them it's going to send one month from now another one is going to send six months from now then another one 12 months from now like on an anniversary or something and then a lot of them will have a birthday card um, in the campaign so you can actually when you set it up you put the person's birthday in there so that they get a birthday card at the right time um, this is where you manage all your contacts. So you can see um, this is what the relationships page looks like. And it stores everybody. It stores their birthdays. You can store their anniversary dates. Um, and one of my favorite things is that you can add their spouses and their children. And you can have all of their birthdays too. So it's a great way to stay in communication and keep track of all of your contacts. So um, these are the options, um, the different types of accounts that you can have. Now we do have a free account. And basically it's kind of like a la carte. You just pay per card. So it doesn't cost you anything to have your, your login. Um, you can use the phone app and you can um, use the computer app. 
and um, you know you just pay per card. So it's like two seventy five for a regular card. Get a little discount when you do a group send of twenty or more. Um, you want to do a photo card. Um, it's going to be an additional dollar, and then you've got postage and things like that. Um, I don't know what all that is. And then, um, so I think if you'll take over real quick, I'm going to need to mute myself. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Sorry. So Carrie has a, uh, a three-year-old. <laughs> Okay, I can't push the buttons though, Carrie, sorry. Um, so yeah, so the basic free account is just uh, like that a la carte. Carrie, can you click the next um, slide, please? Okay, uh, I click it one more time. One more time, Carrie. Um, the $17 amount, the $17 a month is awesome. This is especially if you have a business because um, get complete access to the relationship manager the relationship manager like carrie said is an amazing contact management system it has notifications it'll tell you when people's birthdays are you can actually go in like i send a lot of cards so sometimes i like to i'll, I'll decide i want to send a card to someone and then i go oh i might have already sent the same one to them so you can actually go in and look at the history it is an amazing system so i highly recommend you get on one of the Eight subscriptions because you have unlimited access to that. Um, the $17 a month subscription, you're also paying per card, but you're getting a bit of a discount and you also get a discount on gifts. Um, so that's the $17 a month. That's a good one to start with if you're only going to really start sending a few cards here and there. All right, and you click the next one, Carrie. Um, are you there, Carrie? Can you click the next one? Click the next card, <laughs> next one, sorry. <laughs> sorry, the next one is um, the 97 a month. Harry, can you click the next one, please? Okay, I need her to click the next one. Um, so anyway, she's hopefully gonna hear me and click. All right, the sorry about that, Sue. <laughs> Like, hello. <laughs> you click. Sorry about that. Yeah, what I'm not, you... not in control of the, of the screen. Oh, yes. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Technology. Don't we love it? So as soon okay. as you listen. Okay. So, and yeah. Okay. So the this is my absolute favorite one. I know it's Carrie's too. Actually, I think she's on the next, on the second one. But I love this one. It's $97 a month, which is actually peanuts if you think about it because you can send as many heartfelt cards as you want to. That means the cards that are sent immediately. Those are cards where you create a heartfelt message, you're sending it to a person, sending out kindness and love to someone and appreciation. You can send as many of those as you want anywhere in the world. I just sent one to Turkey. As many as you want, and it includes postage. It includes postage. And so I literally sent last night, oh my gosh, I think I sent at least 30 cards last night. So if you think about it, that's in one day. And I can send as many, I could send 30 cards a day. It doesn't even matter. I'm still paying $97. That's why it said free when I sent my card. Um, that's for individual cards, like she said, the heartfelt cards. Otherwise, if you want to send a group of cards like Carrie did when she set, created one card and sent it to all of the mothers or like holiday cards, you're going to pay $1.75 plus um, postage on that. Um, and you get 30% discount on gifts, which is cool. Um, go on, Carrie. And then the other one, this is the one that Carrie upgraded to, I know um, she told me this month. And there are no contracts, by the way, uh, so you can move around with the different levels, but she loves this. I think click it one more time. Uh, for $147 a month, you still get the unlimited card, card sends, but you also get 100 free cards that you can send as a group, meaning you could just, I love this, is a lot of businesses that maybe set want to send a group of cards are more like marketing pieces, I guess you could say. Um, you get to send 100 of those free every month. You only put postage on those cards and you still get the other discounts. Um, so there's the four subscriptions. Like I said, if you just wanna get started and stick your toe in there and send a card here and there, get on the free account, it's still way less than the cards. The cards, I just went to the car wash and the cards were $10, $10 for just a card that doesn't even have a picture on it. Um, 
I'm the kind of person loves to send cards with people's pictures on it because I want that card to stay on the refrigerator or on the desk. Okay. I want them to never throw the card away. And I promise you most of the cards I send out, people aren't going to throw away. <laughs> so, um, now this is, they, they do have a lot of extra things that you can also add. Um, like I told you that I have my own handwriting font, my signatures, you can, for $49, you, they will make your own font and your own, and you can send your signatures in. Uh, essentials pack uh, up there is the first impressions kit. Sorry, that is pre-designed, higher quality cards. They're like really high quality stock, and they're already pre-designed with places, and you just drop the picture in. And those are the cards that you can schedule out in, in a campaign. So, for example, if I meet someone at a at a networking event, and I can put them in a campaign, and I can maybe send the first card automatically and then all the rest of the cards will maybe one will be sent in two weeks another one will be sent on their birthday another one will be sent in you know two months or whatever um what and that one was i think normally 99 but they have a special going on right now where you can do your handwriting font and you can get those essential packs which you have access to those cards forever um, for only 99 dollars and then um I think the next one's okay. There's a whole entire campaign store. This is so cool. This is, uh, we have cards pre designed for almost every industry that you can think of from retail sales to insurance to the uh, um, nail salons, landscaping, motorsport. The motorsports ones are really cool, by the way. If you know anyone, I'd love to be, talk to someone in that and automotive. So you can actually purchase cards that are already pre designed. This is if you don't want to, there's even messages in there that you can edit. Um, yeah, so you can keep going. Now, this is the coolest part of all. Um, I've had people say $97 and I actually would love Carrie to speak to that in a second, um, just as a business owner. But, um, why don't you just do that really quick right now? And then I'm going to tell you how you can actually get your subscription completely paid for. There is a way for you to, all of my cards are, are paid for. I don't, I pay zero and I can send all those hundreds and hundreds of cards a month. But I wanted Carrie to speak real quick if it's possible to, um, to what she's learned being a bookkeeper and working with a lot of business owners. Right. So, <clears throat> so sometimes we do, you know, not very often, but sometimes we do We run into somebody who's kind of like, Oh my goodness. You know, I don't know if I have that in my budget or something, you know, for business expenses. But the truth is that anybody in business, anybody who owns a company should already have a budget for a follow-up system that includes greeting cards. So if you don't have that carved into your budget, um, then, then you need to find a way to put it in there anyway. <laughs> and this system compared with what a lot of people do, you know, there's the time to the store to get them. There's the time to the post office to mail them. There's the time to sit down and handwrite them. Um, you know, and then like the stamps, like you were saying, um, you know, so this system, I, you know, I can go on a coffee date and, and take a picture with somebody and then get in my car and go on to either another coffee date or, you know, go back to my office, whatever. But I can sit in my car before I even turn it on, send the card right there if I didn't send it while I was with the person and it's done lickety split. So I've spent like next to no time on it. I've, um, I've got the person in my contact list now. They've been added into my contact list. And at, within a few days, I'm going to be top of mind with them. So um, it's an essential expense for business. If there isn't room in your budget for it right now, there should be already. And this is, in my mind, in my experience, the most affordable way to do it. Absolutely. And you know, it's like, like you said, it's, it's, it is a business. It's the cost of, of doing business. But what I love about this so much is, like I said, my cards are actually free and I'm on the $97 subscription. So <laughs> Send Out Cards actually pays me um, a commis enough commission to where my cards are absolutely free. So um, you can definitely do that. So go ahead and go to the next screen real quick, Carrie. Uh, so basically, if you want, uh, oh, in order to get your ca cards or free um, and, or get them paid for, I should say. You, you get commissions that pay for the cards. You can actually become an affiliate. 
And I don't know, I'm going to be doing, I've asked many times, and I promise I will do this maybe in the next week, is a, a webinar on affiliate marketing. Everyone should be doing affiliate marketing. Um, and send out cards is my absolute number one favorite of all of the affiliate marketing things that I've done before. Affiliate marketing means that you, if you share people's other people's products or services and those people pay you a commission back. Um, Amazon does it almost every single huge business does it. And I'm an affiliate for many companies. Send out cards. Honestly, you can become an affiliate and send out cards. You can share the system. And you can get paid every single month for subscriptions on all cards and gifts that people that you refer send out cards to. So we talk a lot about referral marketing and uh, or referrals. So that's it. So the next screen kind of shows us uh, how it works. So let's say you're on the 97. Okay, that's the most popular one. Everybody's on that because of the unlimited card sends. All you need to do is share the system. If you become an, an affiliate for $59, it's only $59 a year, and you share this and get four people that want to use the system as customers, just find four companies or four people that are on that same subscription. That's what send out cards, the commissions that you earn will pay for your entire system, which is awesome. Um, you can also, that's one way you can, you can get your cards paid for. You can also build teams of people. You can also take it a step further and actually really use send out cards, almost make it almost a second, a business for yourself. And you can, the more people you share with it, like if, let's say you share it with someone and they go, well, I want to be an affiliate. And then they share it with people. You make money, you, you make commissions off of all of those too. So that's another option. Um, go ahead and the next one. I think, so yeah, so what I want you to do is go back to the person that invited you to this uh, webinar and they can help you get set up and show you how to work on this. Um, if it's one of us, <laughs> those are our, our um, contact information there. And I'm offering everyone on this webinar that I watched all the way through to the end here, a free marketing strategy session. I would absolutely love to meet with you and learn more about your business and talk about how you could use a system like Send Out Cards grow your business. I promise you, I don't spend money on marketing. I don't, I haven't in many, many, many years. Um, I build relationships with people and um, they just tell everybody about me. <laughs> it's like the greatest way to do business. So I would love to figure out a kind of strategy for you and your, your particular business. So I think that's it. If you want to stop the share, I think that was the last one. <laughs> So, Carrie, do you have any more things to say about this? I know you have your son there. Yeah, I've got William here. He's he's a uh, he's learning to be a card sender. He's I show him how to send cards all the time, so he's learning how to do it. That is awesome. You know what's really cool yeah. about that is I have heard there's a couple of ladies that I know that run daycares, and they've actually taught teaching the kids at three and four years old how to use it because it's a phone. I mean, three and four year olds know how to use the phones better than we do, right? And yeah. she <laughs> actually has them send out gratitude cards to their teachers and to the other kids. Oh, wow. And if there's ever a kid that they're having an issue with, send them a card. And it's eliminating bullying you guys wow that's unbelievable amazing. and there's another lady that um her daughter's in high school and that's been part of her system for as long as she's had it too is how she has to send gratitude cards every week and she's like addicted to sending cards to people <laughs> yeah it's amazing well, addicted is a good word for me i you know i i just i have so much fun i sometimes i can't wait to get on facebook and see like any of my friends they'll post like you know like groups of photos because they went somewhere i had one friend that um you know they randomly went to the beach with their two daughters and i just thought you know she posted i don't know it was like seven or eight photos like all at once it was like one facebook post and there are all these great photos of her girls and they had like like a couple artsy ones because it was on the beach you know so it's like the rocks and the sands and the you know washed up logs and all that and um and so i was like oh my goodness this would be great so I, um, I went, she didn't even, I never talked to her about sending our cards before. Um, didn't even, I don't know. I think I sent her a birthday card last year. That was like it. So that's how I had her address. And I went and I put, I did one of the eight and a half by tens, one of the big cards. Oh, yeah, and, 
Yeah. And um, so it's fun. And like there's different layouts and everything. So I, I use the different layouts and I, I put like their last name on it, like the, you know, the, the girls. And, um, and then I put the date on there, like beach day, you know, 326, whatever the date was. And, um, and then just wrote a note and it was like, you know, I'm so grateful that you had this great day with your girls, you know, moments like that, you know, they last forever. And, um, and she sent me this message. She was like, oh my goodness, what is this? this will put a smile on anybody if, and brighten their day. She's like, is this like a business you do or what is this? I got to check this out. You got to tell me. So she was super excited. And it was funny because really all I wanted to do was just bless her. It was like, you know, I know she'd love to have those pictures in print somewhere where she could just look at them, you know, in her home somewhere and the girls can put them through them and, you know, and they can remember that day. And um, so she was super excited. So I just, I'm, I'm addicted. I, you know, I love sending them. I love, you know, I love picturing the look on the person's face when they're going to get them. And I love getting the messages back that they just so appreciate, you know, somebody being thoughtful about them. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you guys for watching and then we'll stick on here and we can ask or answer questions and thank you guys for being here. And again, go back to the person that uh, sent you to this recording and um, we hope to talk to you really soon. Okay.